it's PrisonnaAtTheGames.com here, and today is the social change, second social change meetup here at the YouTube space, which I'm really excited for. After this event, I decided to start doing Gay Day, which is a recurring thing on our channel now, and I've really been do enjoying doing it. So I'm really glad that this group exists, and I'm really happy to be going to another one again. It was ran, run by Ken from the Free Hugs Project, who's an ama all around amazing human being who I love very much, so I'm very, very excited to do another group with him and with all the other people that were here last time because I definitely enjoyed it very much last time. Interactions and the dialogue that I have with people, um, I feel very um, comfortable. But this was the first time being there that I didn't know what to do. As soon as that car ran people down. So the, the march or the rally that um, they held, which was... Uh, supposed to be in Emancipation Park uh, around this uh, whole statue of Robert E. Lee and everything that was going on up there. Um, their rally was scheduled to go from 12 in the afternoon to 5 p.m. But by 11.30, it was shut down because of all of the violence. They declared it a state of emergency and they needed to leave the park. Now, I knew in that moment, as, as we're there, that these hate groups are not just going to leave because the city declared it a state of emergency or unlawful gathering. So I knew they were going to have to regroup somewhere. So I followed these Nazi groups to where they were going, and they went to a nearby park called McIntyre Park, which was maybe only about a block or so away from where the original park was. Now, all of the protesters from the community, both um, Antifa and, and the anarchist groups and the community organizers who were celebrating the victory that we didn't allow hate here in our community, they said, let's march around the perimeter, kind of as our victory march. And still, I'm thinking, these white supremacist groups aren't just going to leave town. They're still here. And so as they're marching, they're coming up the alley. And mind you, where the incident happened, where the 19 people were run over, it was an alley. It wasn't a street. It wasn't where people could have ran off to safety. And uh, in, in this alley, You've got hundreds of people kind of flowing into this alley. We're a block away from the police station downtown, right? Just to kind of give you a sense of how, how things were set up. And then many of the streets in that area had cops that were parked at each of the intersections, just kind of patrolling traffic. You know, they're blocking the intersections. So as I'm coming through this alley, I see the car, the Dodge Charger that was used as the weapon. I see this car, it's a silver tinted Dodge Charger. I'm thinking that this is another cop car, right? Because you've got a guy who's just sitting at the top of the alley. You don't think anything of it. Hmm. Walk right past the car with a group of other protesters. None of us were thinking, oh, this is guy is about to right. like assault 19 people or mow down 19 people with this car. So we continue walking past the car, get maybe about um, 100 yards or so, and then you hear the engine rev. And now at this point, I'm still thinking it's a cop, but it's a cop who maybe got a call and he had the opportunity to maybe get out before running into people that he can turn on this walking mall to get out of that area. And as the engine revs and he speeds right past us, a bunch of us are yelling, yo, slow down. And he continues on because we're like, oh my God, he's going to hit all of these people who are on the other side of the, uh, of the alley. And then that's when we realized in that moment, this is deliberate. He's about to mow down these people. Now, one of the crazy things about YouTube is that the evidence that people are trying to use saying that uh, it was justified in what he did, they cut the video in such a way so that it only starts right after he passes us and we're all yelling, hey, slow down. And then you've got these anarchists with their bats and things that are now hitting the car. He's already hit like two or three people by this point. But when you watch some of these videos on YouTube, it starts right after his car is hit. So they're saying, oh, well, his car was hit, so that's why he mowed down the people. I'm telling you guys, first-hand account, I walked past this car as he's literally just sitting up there at the top of the alley, waiting for the alley to fill up with people. And then he, just, he, he made his attack. Okay, so it's after the event, and a lot yeah, happened. so we just showed a little clip of Ken talking about what happened in Charlottesville. Yes. His first person he was there. Uh, experience of the car that um, went through the crowd in Charlottesville, right? And it was yeah. a really powerful thing, mm -hmm. as I'm sure you guys could tell just from watching him. We only you know, recorded and 
put in here a little piece of his story of what happened, mm -hmm. but it was pretty amazing to hear a first yeah. person perspective of what took place there. Um, I told him that I felt horrible that he had to experience that at all. Like that's that. a terrible thing to have to just be on you mm -hmm. to have been there and seen, but he was helping people out and he was in the place he was supposed to be. Yes. He was in the right place at the right time. And, uh, you know, did what he needed to do, and he's an amazing guy for doing it. Yes. So this is why next weekend we're going to go to D.C. for a couple of days. Yeah. And uh, Ken is having his March for Civility, mm -hmm. um, which is, you know, his cause. It's, you know, free hugs movement talking about, like, we can disagree with each other without being violent. Mm -hmm. um, and that, you know, there are ways for us to have civil discourse even when we disagree and to, to find commonality and there we don't have to be attacking each other right right um and it's a cause that we definitely believe a lot in mm -hmm. and so we decided a couple of weeks ago that we were going to go out yes. and make the trip we're yeah. going to eat at the hamilton again presley's probably going to look at uh hamilton and john lawrence holding hands again again in the, the I'm park cry. is it lafayette park i can't remember which park I'm it is but in one of the squares park. lafayette square i'm going to send it to my friends again They're so we're party. staying staying in the same place we did last time we went there and doing kind of a quick turnaround we're going to try and get in the african-american history museum yeah which is a beautiful on the outside and i hear great it's things gorgeous. about it but it's super hard to get tickets amazing. super hard to get tickets for yes so we're going to try like 6 a.m every day they open timed tickets for that day Mm -hmm. So we're going to get up at 6 a.m. probably on Sunday if they're open and try and get tickets. Yeah. Um, or we may get them. We may try on Saturday and if we have a time to go in after the event, we can do that. Yeah. Anyway. anyway. One other thing that kind of happened. Kind of. Well, it did happen. It did happen. It did happen and it might happen. Right. Is. I might speak at the event. Presley may say a few words. <laughs> on that. Okay, so listen okay. to this. This is this is our life, right? And okay. this is how things get nutty from time to time. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and this is beyond maybe standing on stage in Hamilton. Uh, right. Almost certainly, not even maybe. But Hamilton. Presley may give a short little like intermission speech between two speakers at the March for Civility from the stairs of the Lincoln Memorial. Basically where <laughs> Dr. King Hello? gave his <laughs> the dream speech. So she may get to speak alive. to the crowd a little bit about the next generation and how like hate is dying out yeah. as generations move forward. In and revolution! There is, there is but hope. Not Speaking of Hamilton, Presley, like Presley already in her, like during the rest of the event after we had that conversation was <laughs> writing her speech in her head. Which is kind and of so wild. she has, she has kind of a whole speech in her head that she's already worked out that's yes. really great. Thank we you. will probably talk to you guys about it. We may talk about it on Patreon. Because so I don't, secret. yeah, I don't want to, I don't necessarily want to broadcast it large before we do that. And since right. there's, there's limited people on the Patreon right now, we may put it on Patreon this month or put some notes on it and ask those guys for some advice about what she should talk about. We're going to reach out to Ken and find out if he's cool with an angle that she wants to talk about. And yes. if so, and if, if the stars align and everything kind of works out, then Presley will be speaking from the <laughs> Lincoln Memorial. Memorial. <laughs> um, I and also, like, just as importantly, right, Presley is probably going to meet Michael Brown's dad. I will, Which yes. has been a goal of hers for a long time. Well, and one of the things that, like well, no, 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 it's, it's been something that she's wanted to do and yes. has been important to her for a long time. One of the things that got her involved in civil rights and the social rights movements mm -hmm. as heavily as she is now was Michael Brown's death. Mm -hmm. um, and what happened in Ferguson. Mm -hmm. um, and so like we went, there, there's a video of us going to the protest in Denver. Years ago. Um, years ago, yeah. And uh, like Presley was really moved by that and wanted to go to the protest and begged me to take her down there. So mm -hmm. I took her down there and we hung out and she interviewed some of the protesters. And like that was an initiation to her into some of the things that were going on in the world. Mm -hmm. And so a chance to have a conversation and hug Michael Brown Sr., mm -hmm. it will be a, a pretty powerful thing. There's yeah. other people there that are, that are huge that Presley is, I'm, I'm thrilled she's going to get to meet. Yes. People with amazing stories. Absolutely. Um, but uh, I think Michael Brown Sr. Is. is pretty powerful. Crazy. Yeah. So so that happened. Yeah. <laughs> like like you do. Pretty, pretty big day. Pretty big day. I think we're all tired though. Yeah. Can we go to bed? Well, can we go chill out? Yes. Let's go chill out. <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys so much. Link for to watching. free hugs in Absolutely. the description. Go check. Go yes. check video Ken's videos out. They're amazing. They and so support his cause. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye guys.